Nigeria's president, Bolame Tinubu, has revealed that he is in office to end the country's poor leadership. Tinubu, who is in India for the G20 summit, said that Nigeria is a rich and diverse country with the potential to be great, but that it has been held back by poor leadership. Tinubu said that he is committed to improving the quality of life for all Nigerians regardless of their background. He said that he will work to create jobs, improve education and provide health care for all. Tinubu also spoke about his own personal journey, which he said prepared him for leadership. He said that he started out as a security guard, but that he was able to achieve success through hard work and determination. Tinubu's speech was met with applause from the Nigerian students who were present. They expressed their hope that he would be able to deliver on his promises. We have see, still deposit and the grant. that can satisfy our need and leave us for export. We can compete with India, with India itself. <laughs> Just be ready to work hard. Hard work pays. Hard work. Good education got me here. And I am proud to stand in front of you as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> yes, I've touched and changed many lives, like the President of uh, the clan uh, Yoruba, I would say, work hard, we can change your life. So, all is in your hand. It is in your hand. You have to be ready to be lifted. You know what saying is in Yoruba language. Omatoba Shipa. That won't be. So if only you raise your hand, we help you raise it. And we raise your body. We have the biggest country here. We were similar in many ways. They took the pain in India too. You might be hearing of the subsidy remover and the pain. Yes. I credit great women and great mothers. They can give experience of childbirth better. And that is what Nigeria is going through. But when they go through the pain of labor and they see the baby, they become happier and they forget the pain. That's what Nigeria will get. Whatever you, you think you are doing here, no way you'll get a better deal. Let's face that fact. You'll get a better deal at home. Sky will be your limit. You have been talking to leaders here. I've gotten assurances of a team. Passport problem will be a thing of the past. We're going to have a visa arrangement for diasporas. If there's a need for trust fund, I talked to Honorable Abike Dabiri about that.
And now we utilize it to help a number of people. But education is the greatest tool against poverty. <clears throat> you want to get out of poverty, invest in education. That's what we're about to do. We want to make our economy work for us instead of the economy working on us. Reverse the trend of regrets. Reverse the attitude of breaking pipelines, leaking petrols, and all those. Yes, the refinery will work. We will invest more in it. But what about our bitumen? How much have we invested in that development? We need that. We need more investment in the steel industry. Like I say, if we get ourselves organized and invest in single digit funding, then we can get ranches going, feed our children two meals per day in their schools, grow their body and their brain to meet the challenges of the future. Whatever questions you might ask, home is the answer. Being home, sweet home. Let's work together. We will make arrangement for you to be whatever you want to be in our own environment. I'll be taking your points to discuss with the Prime Minister Modi. I will. And he will do his best, I know to promote bilateral relationship between us and India. But if you are here, you should learn something. If only welding, have a change of attitude. Change your mindset. India is not cruel. They are very accommodating. We are friends, we are brothers, we have similarities. But some of you last year, we have to look for money to bring you back home. That is not a good position to be. You are given a visa for so for a particular length of time. If you cannot release it, re, renew it, come back home. Don't leave it to expire until, until they criminalize you. 
You understand me? You must have good reasons to overstay. Please. We are working hard to develop a brighter future. We know there will be steep hill to climb, but we are sure we will get Nigeria on top of that shining hill. To me, I stand here for one or two questions. That's all I have to tell you. Thank you very much for listening.